What it do, guys? We are here at another fucking awesome episode at the 509 Squadcast, you feel me? Before every Squadcast, we like to start with some music, so this is Rock by your boy. Niggas putting on my downfall. I tell them keep plotting. Yeah. Yeah. Hail Mary, Hail Mary. Yeah. Let's go! I pray that she got me. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah. See your face on the news. We outside with it. Tell me what you going Oh, we inside. Right? <laughs> we inside. <laughs> we inside. We inside. Rock. Rock. We inside with Rock. it. Rock. 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 When you must be talking. Sheesh. I pull up on the scene, waste men disappear like hocus pocus. Yeah. 509 got mad, but they know who do it. Ain't no push. I'm just going to be like, I'm going to stay school, got to stay clean. They say all I talked about is pain, but I don't know Rilla. But then again, I know I don't live one. Hell of a life. I married the game. It's only proper. I call it my wife. Might say that they love you, but then turn around and do shit out of space. It's been one hell of a year, man. I'm telling you. We keeping it pushing. We keeping it light. Yeah. yeah. Man, no man, don't you wish. Jeez. Men that make moves and regret like they rich. Yeah. Seen it myself. I can't make up this shit. Five more nights and GLD on my head. Niggas praying on my downfall. Jeez. I tell them keep plotting. Yeah. Yeah. Hail Mary, Hail Mary. Hail Mary, Hail Mary. Let's go, let's go. The 509 Squadcast. It's always something different every single time. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I promise you. See your face on the news. Yeah. Tell me what you gonna do. We gonna rock. 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 Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. Round of applause. <laughs> round of applause. Round of applause, man. What's going on, man? It's your boy 509 Bosco, and I'm here with another episode, another wild episode of the 509 Squadcast, man. I got some really, really cool people here with me today, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and let them introduce themselves, man. Go ahead, man. Talk to the people. Andy Debach, Haviland Studios on Instagram. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who else we got in the building? Yeah, it's the menace, JM Vlogs. How y'all doing? Follow yes, sir. sir. On all platforms, JM Vlogs. Y'all already know the vibe. You feel me? You feel me, man? Listen, guys. I actually been here. So many you've times. been here before. <laughs> yeah. He has been here before, man. And he stopped by. You guys stopped by again. Yeah. And uh, it's it's damn. How's it been? It's you kind of know how it's been. Listen, if you guys don't know, we recently did a show. And uh, shout out to my boy JM, man. He actually has a fight coming up. Is it? And that show that you saw me promoting like a madman, that was his show. That, that was my show. And Amazing I got, event. I got Amazing to, event. I got to say, from the 509 support, it was fucking amazing. The show came out fucking great. And bro, we be trying, man. We, know, man 509 we, and JM, unstoppable. Of course, bro. We, we always try to give you guys like exactly what you would need because I ain't going to lie, man. It's, it's hard to get help, especially with what we do nowadays. Like... Mm -hmm. So one thing we were talking about before we started filming was, besides the fact that we have no direction, but that's great because that shows you that we're real artists. One thing that they used to say a lot, like people like Albert Einstein, Picasso, I think they said Beethoven died a virgin, right? Was it Beethoven? Damn. Damn. Yeah. So all of the great creatives, we think a little differently. So I think this segment might just be about how we have to move as creatives. And I'm glad that you guys are here because I want to talk about that show. The, how Shit, yeah. how it could have been a disaster. Could have. Oh my God! So many ways. First of all, Andy, if, give us an introduction to how this show came about. Um, about a month ago, ran into Justin and Matt down on the street in Sono. Facts, of course. Um, they always filming outside. Always filming. We outside. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, talked about this boxing match, and we came to the idea of throwing a press conference event for the Face Off. Facts. Now, and, yeah. And, and we brought in the whole music thing because that's mostly my background mm -hmm. and whatever else. Yep. Um, and we talked about doing performers, do the whole thing. Let's get a legit venue. Facts. Um, get sponsorships. Get you know, whole nine yards. Just going for a full event. Exactly. Um, now I got a phone call. Uh, he hit me. He was like, "Yo, Bosco, uh, I got an event I'm putting together. I would love for you to perform. You know, it's gonna be great." So me. I had no idea what the, the details were, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to support. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm go ahead and show up for my boy. And then we, we went and did all this groundwork. Like, we went on Eventbrite. Yeah. First of all, shout out to Eventbrite. You guys make event planning very... 
Easy. Official and efficient. Very simple. You yeah. know, yeah. and people trust the paying process. So shout out to Eventbrite for sure. Um, now they owe us money. Bro, we we found a venue. It was a great venue, in my opinion. I think it was a great venue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're a great facility. But one thing people don't understand about show business is shit happens. happens. Yeah. Shit happens. Like, we need to say that one more time. Shit, shit happens. happens, bro. Real shit. But the worst shit that you could ever think happened, happened. Exactly. <laughs> yes. That, the, yo, that right. was the last thing on bro, my mind, bro. The last thing on The only thing I had in mind was people not showing up. So the equivalent, right. this is the equivalent of it. Like, you got a shorty, you about to go on a date, and you guys head home, and she's about to give you the, the goodies. And then she goes, hey, I was just born without a vagina. I have nothing. It's just flat. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? So the earth is flat. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, we had, the, we, I know, man. We, we had the venue lined up. We had everything. And literally less than 24 hours before the event, they canceled on us. Yep. And we get it. It wasn't their fault. But now most people wouldn't know how to move like that. But I think in show business, that happens a lot more often than people think. Like... How how quick can you think on your toes mm-hmm. to be able to like fix that and keep it going? You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So we were able to pick that up. Round of applause to us. We we definitely saved that fucking day. Yep. And we were still able to have an awesome show. You know what great I'm saying? Show, by the way. Um, it's a great show, I think man. I think my shit stand out the most. Nah, you definitely nah, you had a face <laughs> off. Yeah, <laughs> your, nah, your your face off was definitely crazy, my G. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But the best performance there was, no, I'm not just saying because I'm here on the 509 squad cast. Talk, 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 talk to me. Facts. Your shit was fire. 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 Can we, one more time. One more time for the fans. One more time. <laughs> Your shit was fire. fire. Hey, listen, we, we tried to invite as many people as we could, tell them to come through, but if you, did, if you missed it, it's okay because looks like we might be trying to do this again. Yep, yep. Uh, we're looking at September 24th right now. Yeah. Uh, the day before the actual match. Um, same same event, same location. Uh, mostly the same artist, but a uh, whole nother level. Whole nother, whole nother level. level. Better shit. Better, more shit. better shit. Better shit. Next better just, shit. Just better more shit. efficient, you know. We're trying to bring you guys the experience that you guys are looking for. If people hop on planes to try to go to Cali, to try to go to Miami, because there is no, there's nothing out here. Yeah. But if we take what we do seriously, we just go a step further and just try to give you guys quality entertainment, why would y'all not pull up? You feel right. me? Exactly. So we, 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 we definitely got you guys for that. We got you guys. Uh, other than that, though, shit, uh, while we're on the topic of business, one topic I wanted to talk about is, like, doing business with friends. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's... It, it's, it's like, it gets... Because it, money can fuck up a relationship. I'll tell you that. Absolutely, True. absolutely. It depends on the friend, I will say. Okay. It depends on the friend. Um, for example, I actually work a lot with Paulo's brother, okay. and we butt heads a lot on the creative aspect. Okay. But then we always kind of resolve it and come to a better conclusion, um, and work out the money side of things. Yeah. You know? That's what I say. Money is dangerous. Yeah. Money, m- like money is dangerous creative. because it's important. Like it you, is. You, no, yeah, I get that. You need the bread to to get certain shit done. And certain people might not understand exactly how much money it takes to do things, Mm -hmm. you know, um, which is why me, I'm in the business of doing shit our fucking selves and figuring out how the fuck to do it. Because (laughs) honestly, man, that's lifestyle, bro. Think about it. Think about it, man. Listen, you know how much money you must save? Bro, when I was, let's say 13, we're looking at our favorite artist, right? We had no idea how they did what they did to give us a music video that we enjoyed, right? Right, right. But as we get older and now we're in the business, we're in the industry and we're realizing... What it takes. Software, lighting. We're like, yo, wait a minute. If we really do this the right way, we can give people that. Exactly. Absolutely. But you want to know what the difference is doing it locally? Why is it that someone would rather buy a 2010 BMW than a 2020 Toyota Camry? The year. It's built better. Exactly. That brand, that name. That name stands out so much that quality, quality, <laughs> bro, a 2010 BMW versus a 2020 Toyota Camry, 100%. they're going to go Beamer. for the Beamer. Yep. Just because it's name brand. You feel me? That's quality for you. 
Quality. Quality. Yeah, quality. quality. That's fucking quality. quality for you. So we are in the business of quality. Now, obviously, certain people don't understand that, like, you might not have what you need, but if you just put a little bit of research in, you can find what you need. Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. You feel me? Like, we, we put this effort together, like, without third-party shit. Right. We right. didn't have to use a, a real promoter. No offense to the I actual mean, promoter. Of course. Right. Of you course. know what I'm saying? But um, I feel like with what we got going on, we're definitely going to move on to just taking control and just so you know, we're going to give CT exactly what the fuck they're missing. Real shit. Yep, yep. Something new, too. Something, something new. new. Something new. Always, man. Always, man. And, and we haven't had to reach out because we've had e- each other. And we all have our specialties and our own personalities that come to the table to make a bigger thing. Right. It's. I think I was just talking to you in the car, too. I was like, yo, I want to rent out that stadium. Right, which, right. Which one? Which one? Which one? The one in Bridgeport, Bluefish Stadium. We Blue can. Fish. I know. All you have to do is pull up with a proposal. Exactly. But most exactly. people don't know that. That's why we fall yeah. flat, G. It's all about a phone call. It's just making the phone yeah, call. That's what I'm saying. You gotta take the risk in order to do what you want to do. Bro, if I'm you're not, not. If you're not red, if you're not uncomfortable, then are you really doing it right? Mm. You know what I mean? Are you learning? Are no, you learning? Because no. if you're in your most uncomfortable state, right. that's where you grow. Right. right. If you're always doing shit comfortably, you're not going to grow as a person. You got to get out of your so. comfort box just a little bit, man. Every now Take and then, baby man. Steps. True. That too. That too, man. Uh, camera crew, how we looking? We looking good? We're looking great? Am I looking good? How I look. I'm No, fuck him. I'm important. We look I good? Just, I'm just okay. Looking. Screen oh, man. Do we have a screen man? I'm the screen man. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, guys, we are here. 11 minutes in. Um, shit, what do you guys want to talk about? We didn't fucking come with anything planned. No plan. It's dating. okay. Let's it's okay. talk about dating. You want to talk uh, about dating? Yeah. <laughs> he wants to talk about dating. All right, man. Uh, go ahead. Take it away since you wanted yeah, to talk man, about it. What, 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 what do you got, man? Yeah. Get, get, get your what? shit off. <laughs> I didn't say nothing yet. No, you said you want to talk about dating. Yeah, I did, but So like, let's talk about dating. you looked like you had a question I, yeah, on your face. Right. That's what, uh, what's on your heart, my G? Who's, uh, who's taking? Who's I'm ta- not curious. Who's taking? who's taking? Yeah, anyone taking around here? Nigga, let's talk about you. What's going on with you? Who are you dating? I'm talking about Nobody. You. Nobody. Why? Well, then let's talk about nobody. What's the dating life like? Exactly. Sucks. Are you are you dating no, nobody? It sucks because everyone has a preference. Everyone. Wait, what let's stop, let's stop right you? there. Well, let's stop right there. <laughs> I don't like everyone. That every- like that. <laughs> 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 oh, All right. Everyone has a preference, right? Yeah. Is that wrong? No, it's right. No, you you should have a preference. Right. <laughs> but like. I'm, okay, maybe I use the, the wrong word. Everyone has a uh, their type, right? Mm-hmm. They don't really look at someone's really personality or how they are as a person. You Facts. know what I mean? They really look at what's on the outside. Okay. Hair, muscles, shit like that. That's standard. Preference, right? right? right yeah, right. exactly. I mean, that's the media. That's, that's what the, media is like, showing, and that's what everybody wants. No, no, immediate, meaning like that, like your body tells you based on attraction before you What you exactly. want, what you're interested right. in, you, you feel know, me? They could be so opposite of you. You know what I mean? Like, oh, Personality we don't have the same shit, right. so I can't relate to you. The only thing I like about you is your, your hair or your body. Right. Period. Right. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. Fuck your sound effect. <laughs> 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 Try to get me. Listen, man. I didn't have headphones on. You think I can hear it? All right, but see now, I, I know you brought up the aspect of dating, which is great. I mean, I'm I'm all for it. I'm all for that. But what you one thing that you have to understand is, um, dating is one thing, but dating in 2021 is a whole another thing. What do you mean? True. The fuck you mean? What do I mean? Everything. All right. Imagine when your dad was your age, what dating was like versus what it's dating like now. There's a whole different criteria of shit that'll even make you eligible or non-eligible to even date. I'll tell you what. As I get older, my standards are going really low. Like, who needs huh. teeth? What? Wait, who? wait, what? <laughs> like, literally, my standards oh. are low as fuck. Because, like, you know, you're in with nice hair. Or shit. Right. As you get older, like, like okay, my standards are going to get low. Who needs teeth? You smile from your heart. You know what I mean? Touch I mean, if, if she ain't got no teeth, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. if she ain't got no teeth, um, she can give you that little, the little gum job. <laughs> the, the gum drops. <laughs> the gum drops. 
But no, I, I get what you mean. Like, I, I kind of feel like that's like it goes both ways though, because don't you set a higher standard for a type of person at an older age? Okay, like, yeah, I mean, like, yeah. like, the, like yeah. how they work with you. Yeah, you know, you've been through enough relationships at this point that now you know if somebody's like this, that's not what you want. Right. So you're gonna yeah. raise that standard. Exactly. All right, yeah. but see, look, um, you said who needs teeth? All right, so just like what he says to piggyback off of that. Okay, what if they don't have teeth but they're six hundred pounds? You still gonna go with that, or yeah. do you still have a preference? You gotta look at you gotta look at them. You know, you gotta like as who they are. As who so. they are. As All right. So, is it safe to say that preference is something of individuality? Like everybody has their thing that yeah. makes them want to love that person. Yes. So, so I'll you're agree lowering, with that. You're, you're lowering the attraction standard, but raising like the inner person stand but see attract att- attraction see, like, is right. subjective though exactly exactly so what you're saying is it's, just like yeah yeah yeah, yeah i get you. Yeah, yeah yeah you see what i'm saying i see it i see it yeah it's funny it is it is it's different <laughs> i mean dating as far as dating goes i'm not gonna lie when it comes to me hmm. i feel like dating How should be your first date my first date I don't even Let's think... talk about everybody in this, in this room right, right now. Yo. How did y'all first date went? First, first of all, my first... first date. You, you good? You good, G? This shit was so hot. We got somebody on the other side of here just having a hard <laughs> time right now. <laughs> <laughs> we have um, to fucking do Real right shit. <laughs> He's having a hard time right now. Um, now, my first date, I didn't even know it was a date because I was in Haiti. I oh, think my, my first official real date. But you want to know how I knew it was a date, though? Huh? Because of where we were. Check was this it, was out. It, okay, was there a location that you knew was? Restaurant. I'm going to give you guys a definition of something and tell me yes or no if it's a date. <laughs> Got it. Okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> that's 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 like, <laughs> I'm looking for the right sound. Hold on. Where's my fucking kit here? He said hat. Where's my kit? Where's my kit? There's my kit. There it is. Okay. If you take a woman... Okay. Uh, actually, let's do it even better. If you pick a woman up, Mm-hmm. Or actually, I'm gonna say woman because I know in your case, right? No, it's fine. No, no, go ahead. Whatever. Ahead. You you pick a date up, right? Mm-hmm. You pick her up. If you take her somewhere to eat, okay. If you provide entertainment, and then you end the night with maybe an L ride back to her crib, is that considered a date? You picked yes. her up. You took her somewhere to eat. What's you provided an entertainment. We're gonna get to that. <laughs> you provided entertainment. And then you guys took an L ride back to the crib. Yeah. That's consi- is, that, is that a date? That, that well, a date. well, what did you, like, how did you know her from before this night? See, I was going to say, I thought you were going to ask, well, where did you take her to eat? Oh, well, there's, that's part of it. All right, but, but, but I is it, is it though? It, and this is where I'm at with that. you. This is where I'm at. All right, check this out. There are people out there mm-hmm. that have no problem going through that drive through with a blunt lit, Grabbing a burger, grabbing some fries, going by that water spot, and yeah. then fucking on the beach. That's a hell of a day, yeah. Okay? But that's, for some reason, that's a good day. for some reason, if you're, if you're talking to somebody, if you're talking to somebody, right now, now you'll meet some chick from California, right? She would never go through McDonald's drive through with you. If, if she said, hey, you wanna take me on a date? Okay, where are we going? Oh, we're gonna go to McDonald's. <laughs> We go, we go, we go ride ninety five, and then you gonna ride this. <laughs> they won't accept it. So no, what I'm but, saying is now, if you took her to P.F. Chang's or Salt Bay's restaurant, Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Panda I mean, Express. I guess, I guess it's a level up from Burger King. Right? But that's yeah. the thing, though. So now. I'm gonna take it a step even further. Go ahead. If Justin Bieber mm. took a chick to Burger King, she wouldn't give a fuck. No. no. She wouldn't give a fuck. No. She, she wouldn't. Because she was a celebrity. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why I asked you that specific question. Dating is dating, but right. dating in 2021, whole different fucking ball game, Damn, I wasn't G. Even thinking yeah, about no, it like I that, actually. That's not right. thinking about bro. Like COVID, politics. Nah, not even COVID and politics, bro. <laughs> Yo, you know Chris Rock? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Rock can go into a bakery right now. Oh my God, who the hell? Nigga, we do. Yeah. We do. <laughs> Chris Rock can go into a bakery right now and probably walk out with like a fucking dozen of baguettes for free. Yeah, sure, sure. Because oh, he's, he's, he's Chris, Chris Rock. Rock. Yeah, right, right. I'd hope he'd pay for them, but 
<laughs> but the thing is, though, the store owner would see that as Chris Rock, right. and they're willing to give him that. Yeah. A multi-millionaire versus a struggling fucking local mom and pop shop owner. But hey, it's that's, Chris Rock, right? right that's, that's true. true. Let JM walk in there, who's a local entity. Right. Nah, nigga, give me my three seventy five. <laughs> yep, yep. Where's my tip? So that's why, yo. <laughs> they don't know our background. So to lead to my point, because everything that. has a point, right? I feel Dating that. in twenty twenty one is about perspective. Okay. The person sitting across from you on that date, how you look at them is how you'll conduct yourself during that date. Mm-hmm. Where you'll take them, if there even is a date. So for the people out there that say, oh, I'm tired of people saying, oh, what are you doing? Come to the crib. Bitch, are you worth going out? Right. right. You, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, not even that. It's not even about that. Do you spark my fancy enough to want me to get creative? And, and that, yeah, that's just it. I mean, for me personally, like, I've been so focused on, like, music and creative projects that mm-hmm. I'm kind of like, th- this person has to be... For you to date, to that be, person would have to understand. Time, exactly. Worth my time understand like, that is, you is think this, differently. Is, is this person going to distract you know? me from my class? Exactly. Because yeah. what if this person does not have a thing? Right. So right, now, right. they don't understand. What do you mean you got to wake up at 2 a.m. to go here to do this? Right. right. We're creative. This is just what we do. So, dating in 2021 is definitely subjective. Yep, yep. Having a preference is not bad. If I say, but, yo... But keep that shit off the same, internet, because that shit gets you a lot of trouble. Like, it you know? does, but yeah. if someone says, yo, I like big booty joints, a flat booty joint <laughs> can't come She's going to get very mad, like, hey, <laughs> listen, you got big love for us, <laughs> too? <laughs> no, nah, like, it's just, I'm just saying, I think preferences save time. I think, I think not having a preference is a preference.